Detroit Diesel 6 V53. The series was the direct successor to the 51 and it made a reputation of a compact, powerful and reliable unit. In fact, the 6 V53 unit was only about a cubic meter of size and was good for 219 horsepower with natural aspiration besides bus applications in the GMC chassis. It was famous for military use in small armored vehicles with up to 400 turbocharged horsepower. Volvo FH Volvo is one of the leading companies in the semi-truck business, and unlike Scania with the V8, they stick to the six-cylinder concept even with their largest unit, the D16C. It is one of their most modern engines, which is 100 kg lighter than its predecessor, with more power and better fuel economy. Cummins 6BT Go with the newer Cummins ISB if you want more efficient and more powerful unit, but it was the 12 valve 6BT that achieved the reputation Cummins has with these engines. Powerful, efficient and indestructible. It was less fuel consuming alternative to a petrol V8, which much stronger low and pull, no surprise they are popular. Audi 3 liter V6. The 3 liter TDI was finally one of the better units to be made, especially after that horrible 2.5 liter V6 TDI. The 3 liter TDI has been in production for quite some time, and after years, even a bi turbo variant was added to the lineup. Though, you don't need more than the single turbo one to have the great sounding diesel with plenty of power, even with a manual transmission. BMW M57 The M57 is of an older design, but this certainly isn't a bad thing. This one is relatively reliable, and other than common common rail turbo diesel problems, there are only the swirl flaps which may cause troubles. Other than that, it is durable, can be tuned for nice power and sound too. Video. Cat 4116 
The 3116 is originally an on-road and marine power plant, used for instance in a military cargo truck, the M35A3. This CAD engine is not renowned as a trouble-free unit. There are certain problems this engine suffers from, especially when used for long uphills. It requires a good maintenance and extra care. Nissan RD28 The RD28 is a fairly simple engine until they install an electronic fuel injection and a Gary Turbo on it. It was an added complexity, but it did not lose its hiring character as an oversquared engine. Interestingly, it was even installed in a R31 Skyline and was the last diesel Skyline to be built. Detroit Diesel 6 V92 The Series 92 is quite similar to D71, as basically the only difference in design was that the 92 had a larger bore. This makes the 6 V92 almost double the size of the 6 V53, making it suitable for more on-road applications besides small vehicles. Mercedes OM613 Having interchangeable parts with the 4 cylinder OM611 and 5 volt OM612, the 613 was the direct successor to the 606, the greatest tuning engine for Mercedes. However, the 613, found in the 320 CDI cars, was only slightly bigger, yet it provided significantly more power from stock. It does sound beautiful as well, though. Deutz F6L912 The 912 is an old series, which has been built for quite some time actually. The series included everything from a 3 up to 6 cylinders. Besides, there was no turbo, no fancy electronics, and even the design of the block was accommodated for an air cooling. <laughs> 